Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you about the importance of taking capital at the right time. Uh, this is a test run we're playing to test the new uh, fighter or plane mechanics. And it's for X speed, so I wanted to show you here. I am capturing Hungary. I've been bombarding them through uh, Romania here for a few days now. And if you can see here, their morale uh, of the newly captured province is still 25%, which means I captured this all today. Uh, and remember, it's 4x, but still today. So instead of leaving my infantry here, six infantry in each province, to basically uh, prevent an uprising, as you can see, chance of uprising 24%. Instead of doing that, I am going to take all the provinces besides the capital first, and in the end, take the capital uh, that will give me plus 10 percent boost to all of these provinces that's one two if i had left six infantry in these provinces at the day change to prevent an uprising their morale would drop significantly and three i gain basically a one day worth of morale gain in all these provinces thanks to the capture of the capital which i'm going to do now so i'm going to take this pro capital of hungary and that will give boost to all of the provinces. So one day advantage to all my provinces, newly captured provinces here, not to mention all the other provinces as well. And I've actually have not taken Romania out, even though I attacked him like two days ago almost. And that is because I'm going to time taking this capital after uh, taking Hungary's capital. Because the main reason I attacked Hungary was these two double resource provinces, double oil and double lumber so the sooner morale goes up sooner my resource production goes up and sooner i'll be able to uh produce more stuff more planes so here you go in 18 minutes i'll take romania's capital which should be after i take budapest so by taking the other capital i'll get another 10 percent boost and before the day changes i'm going to take lemberg here so in one day i will get 30% bonus to all these provinces, 25 now, it should be 55 uh, if I execute this correctly. And on top of that, at day change, I'll get another 10% and maybe even more because if you take a look at provinces here, neighboring provinces minus 15, that actually affects the morale development. So boosting the province morale with the capitals actually is incredibly favorable. And there you go. I took Budapest just now and every other province, as you can see, 35% morale, not an issue. So I'm going to regroup here. Go and take, take Bucharest, Bucharest, I don't know. Oh, nice level four fortress. This wire artillery is good. Okay, so you guys move here. You guys move here. You move in here. Okay, I don't care. Uh, there you go. Just come here for six minutes. Uh, that should be okay. And now you will see. Wha bam. So this is at 35 now, and these are at 45% morale, and my economy is booming. Look at this already. Hot diggity damn. And I don't have to keep infantry here as well, because soon I'll be bombing the hell out of Ukrainian SSR. And let's check it out. There you go. One province taken with level 4 fortress amazing and then soon this one let's force march and that should give all my newly captured points is 55 percent morale which is amazing because that along with day change in two hours will take my economy to basically sustaining these newly captured provinces for a few days to them already making resources for me okay and there you go. All my newly captured provinces besides the capital is at 55% morale. I don't have to leave any infantry anywhere besides the last captured capital. And my economy is booming. That's it. That's how you take out the country in just a few days without any, uh, let's say, complications. But let's check out this one more time. The morale. Well, bam. They're not red anymore. They're yellow. And soon they'll be green. So we increased the 
morale of this province from 25% to 45% and this one to 55% and let's see they change 63% there you go and 54% now amazing even more morale even better results and even better economy there you go so that was it for today i want to thank you all very much for subscribing and helping me reach 1000 subscribers i can finally start making money out of this now so do expect more edits and more videos from me i know i'm quite slow at editing i can't promise it will get any faster but i do have a lot of content ready and i'm almost finished with my next caucasus episode so please subscribe and uh, keep in touch but as always don't forget to enjoy the game thank you